What's up nerds, Cloud here with another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today's video is a tips and hints for part 5 of Vanille's uh, special event that she has right now. This is by no means an end-all be-all guide, rather information that I just find useful uh, for the fight since I've been in it so many times it feels like so. Let's just jump right into the information. Uh, Vanille's special event, Girl from Oribra, is going to be available until Monday, February 26th. So we have two weeks to complete this event. Uh, there's no added week or added content that we're aware of, at least, uh, after you beat part five. So take your time. It's not something you need to beat right now. It's not something that needs to get done today. If you can't beat it, take a couple days, level up your character, equipment, summons, and crystal power. Uh, some of the MVPs that I saw for this fight were Terra, huge magic damage dealer, especially with her five-star weapon and Meteor Plus, which I don't have access to because I've been leveling up nothing but my physical damage dealers. Um, Yuna, Vanille, and Hope are getting synergy bonuses due to the Relic Draw being in their favor. Uh, Yuna is a bravery battery. Uh, a useful hint that I have for her is you can utilize her Asuna and give everyone bravery. If you have her 5-star weapon, then everyone gets healed from status ailments. If you don't have her 5-star weapon, then only one person you can select, but everyone gets bravery. And that's really key with her. She can buff, if, if you have characters that are at break, or about to be at break, or you're concerned for them, Asuna can bring up their bravery. It won't heal them, but it'll at least give them bravery. Um, Vanille also gets a synergy bonus. Uh, she can also use the spell once you get her to crystal power level 20. If you want to go a certain route with Vanille, you can dispel the boss's haste and dispel the boss's berserk, which we'll jump into later. Uh, Hope is a magic damage dealer, again strong, specifically because of the synergy bonus. Uh, Vanille, Yuna, and Hope all get two times experience right now, along with Tifa, Zidane, uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting another character, but uh, utilize this time to level up your characters. We have two weeks to complete this content. It doesn't need to be done this moment. Um, these are by no means the end-all be-all teams. Um, uh, characters to consider bringing to this fight are any character that utilizes magic attacks. Uh, Edge has a, a magic based attack. Vaughn's Red Spiral does Brave to HP. Yushtola, uh, Cloud's, um, Cloud's uh, first command gives him a chance to use Paralysis, uh, which can effectively give a boss a no turn on his turn which is huge. Again, it's a chance, and we'll jump into what friend you should bring. Um, the summon I think you should bring for one of, for this fight is either Odin, Shiva, Sylph, Ifrit, or Ramu. For right now, Chocobo's great because it's inherently fast, so I'll cover that in guides for uh, multiplayer fights, but uh, for this fight, you have five rounds to get through. So to get through five rounds, you're gonna have enough time to build up your meter, especially for, yours, um, uh, for your summons. Um, Odin, in my opinion, is the best for it, only because he has a chance to break the enemy, along with his innate um, status below. So, uh, to be able, this boss can be broken, and that's when you're going to utilize the summon. You need to ensure you use the summon at the level five boss. Don't use it on Marlboro. If you think you're going to lose the fight, uh, but before you get to level five, make sure you just give up there. Uh, you definitely want to utilize the summon uh, for the final boss. Uh, the equipments, uh, any synergy bonus, uh, put them on your character, uh, another typo, PT, uh, try to level them up to at least level 10. So any character that you're going to use, let's say you don't want to use Vanille, uh, but you have her 4 star weapon or 4 star uh, armor, and let's say you want to use Hope and you have his 4 star armor, put that on the character that you are going to use because they will receive a synergy bonus from it. And that goes across the board. Any content you ever play, if the synergy is for a specific character, their equipment should be innately buffed too. Throw that on a character that you're actually going to use. Um, just a quick thing, Yuna's 5-star rod isn't mandatory. It just makes the Marlboro fight, which is the third level, less RNG based. Uh, characters like Yuffie can take her status ailments and give them to Marlboro if you want to utilize Yuffie for this fight. The specific thing you need to remember is that the end game is to defeat Berserker, so uh, the rod isn't mandatory, it just makes the fight with Marlboro easier. So the level 5 boss is the Berserker armor. He has no weakness and no resistance, so that doesn't mean, uh, that, so that means that no magic 
or uh, no flavor is what I like to refer to as, but there's no specific element that you can use or he can use against you. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Chocobo, it only gives you 100% uh, or 100 HP to your team. Uh, mine's at level 9, so he does 700 damage. It just it isn't worth it. Um, Boss is resistant to physical damage and ranged physical damage. I have been leveling up nothing but my physical damage dealers, so I had a really hard time when this boss first came out. Um, but I've since learned my uh, error of my ways. Uh, boss is not resistant to any debuffs, which is... I utilized uh, Vanille for this fight, and she became pretty critical for me, uh, leveling the attack of this boss's down. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to jump over into the in-game footage, and I'm going to do some talking over it while I find the stop button. Alright, nerds, I don't know if that landed. That didn't look clean, but here we are. So, the two things I did not go over... One is my characters. You could pause the video in the beginning really quick. Uh, I might make notes in the comments below, but uh, my Yuna is uh, level 50 with uh, Crystal Power level 20 and her 5 star weapon. My Vanille is level 20, I'm sorry, level 47 with Crystal Power level 20 and her 5 star weapon. And my Warrior Light's level 50 with Crystal Power 46, I believe. Um, so I have a pretty strong team right now, and that's, again, this is why it's on a guide, more like helpful hints. And the second thing I forgot to cover was uh, friend summons. Uh, I would bring Cloud, not because it's my name, um, but because he utilizes uh, Paralyze or has a chance to, uh, which isn't something that's great to gamble on, but it at least can help the Berserker armor not to attack you for one turn. You can utilize Rem or you can utilize Yuna uh, for Malboro to help, but make sure that Yuna has the five-star weapon to Asuna all your characters. Um, so, I'm going to be talking a lot if that's not something you guys like. Please let me know in the comments. But Alright, so the first fight's already dead with. Uh, the first fight I was focusing on the Flans uh, before uh, the Wolf. The reason why is the Flans were rng me like crazy. Anytime they were over uh, 700 Bravery, uh, they demolished me. Uh, they always did HP damage. Now, I'm, my goal for this fight right now is to not get broken, right? I don't want to get broken. Um, so that was my main goal going in this. And I was able to make it, but one of my characters did perish. Um, but again, this trial's here for two weeks, we have plenty of time. So, um, there's nothing too special in the first two fights. Um, the Flans are resistant to physical damage, so having those magic damage dealers are nice. So, Marlboro. Uh, so right off, right out of the gate, I use Deep Protect. Uh, a fun thing for Vanille, her 5 star weapon buffs her uh, abilities, so uh, it has three turns as a debuff as, as opposed to the regular two. Um, however, always use Vanille's Deep Protect before your other characters or before the boss. The reason why, the second your boss doesn't attack, that turn automatically goes away. So if Vanille goes and then the boss and you use Deep Protect, you're going to defend, you're going to help that damage mitigation, um, but honestly, you're going to waste that turn. So. Uh, he used Bad Breath, and the thing with Bad Breath, he'll use it again and I'll explain. But Bad Breath does not do any bravery damage. Does none. You can utilize all your HP attacks. But one thing you got to be careful for is if you utilize all your HP attacks, he uses Bad Breath and you're at zero bravery, and your character goes first, that character at zero HP, that character can get Brave Poisoned unto them and get broken. So uh, RNG plays a factor in some of these fights. Most of these fights. So... Anyway, here I'm at. Um, I've already used one Asuna. I look at my team. Um, Vanille's hurting, and so was I. Uh, and Payal's going to do straight HP damage. So there's nothing you can do about that, really. He's at zero. Uh, one thing that I'm trying to keep here is I don't want to break him all the time. Just because there's a zero doesn't mean you need to break them. Um, I know you want to get as much damage as you can in, but the less that you break him, the... So if we... If... I'll show you how. So he's using uh, Bad Breath. Uh, look at my characters. Look at their bravery. Doesn't be affected. Um, doesn't be affected. Um, so I, I go YOLO on the push. Now it doesn't work. So Asuna, again, MVP uh, for the Malboro fight and the trial and the extra. Yuna's amazing. My summon, I brung Shiva if I can get past there. Um, and she's uh, fully summoned behind me. I got the aura. So we defeated Malboro. Nothing crazy. Yuna... Uh, takes away his bad breath. The only move you gotta look out for is Impale. A specific thing is keep that bravery down, right? Just because the, if the characters, if your enemy is at zero uh, and you break them, they're gonna do a huge bravery attack. So 
jumping back over here. Um, these enemies are resistant to physical damage, so I know I'm going to have a rough time with Warrior Light, but I, I want my Yuna and my Vanille to be as healthy as possible. Um, the stats in the beginning, I know it doesn't look like it now, but uh, both my Vanille and my Yuna have better stats than my Warrior of Light because of the synergy bonus of not only themselves, but their equipment. I don't have Yuna's or Vanille's 4-star armor, but I at least have their 5-star weapons, and they're at least level 10. Um, so I've defeated those um, uh, physical resistance pretty easily. Um, I'm looking at um, I'm looking at the uh, Berserker now. So here's where here's where a lot of the issues come in. So he's attacking Warrior Light now. He already took down some of my bravery. I want to use Shining Shield. He's my tank. I need him to do his job. Uh, the biggest tip I can give you for this fight is to utilize uh, bravery, but don't break him. So don't take him down to zero and then break him to give everyone a break bonus. Don't do that. Bring him down as low as you think you can get him. And then if, the reason why is because you can at least identify how much damage he's going to do to you. So I know he's going to do 237. That barely did any damage to my unit. So I have the option to do it. A crap ton of damage. So I'm looking at the, the shield. I want to see when I'm going to attack again. Okay. So I, I've locked. I've done my job. I've locked on him. I'm using my HP attacks. He's broken. I don't want to take any more. I'm going to Shining Shield on Vanille because uh, she has less health than Yuna. It's not going to heal against... It doesn't heal against HP, um, but I want to utilize uh, against her bravery. So I've shielded up everyone except for myself. I got one more turn for that. I use Deep Protect on the boss. So I'm just calculating, right? So with 1,000 HP, he's hasted himself. So... Vanille goes next. I'm going to utilize... Um, uh, I, I got to take into account the bravery he has, the HP damage that I can do to him. So he's at 371. Barely any damage. The biggest hint that I can give you for the part 5 of this fight is do not... Don't always break him. Give him some time. I'm letting him get his bravery back, and I'm just going to buff up my team. That is Suna. I have 7 charges. That's helped me out so much in this fight. The one thing that I do not do, which costs me dearly, is I never utilize Cloud. If I would have utilized Cloud at a significant point, which I'll bring up, I would have my character would have survived. Um, so again, now my Warrior Light Shield is gone. Um, I deep protect him again. Uh, it's Yuna's turn. I want to make sure that again, I know my character's damage. My Yuna's gonna do. 550 to about 650. My Vanille is going to do anywhere between 600 to 800 damage. Um, I know I had to break him there, but that's because of what Warrior Light to get that aggro. I want him to get hit. Again, I'm focusing on that HP damage, not always breaking him since he's already broke. Alright, so I have a chance to uh, push him in the air. I'm going to look at my characters. Nope, they don't have any shield on them. Okay. So again, so what I decided to do there, I, I, that's the 100% risky route. I knew he was going to uh, buff himself because it said A, he was going to attack, or A himself. So I utilized Shiva here. Um, I got lucky with a 1305 critical hit from that. I want to build my bravery. I want to take his down. He's buffed. My Warrior Light is going to, again, I'm focusing. He's got four, uh, I got four more turns to stay locked on. Um, the last time I clicked vanilla, I attacked, um, so I gave her 2,100 plus uh, bravery defense. Again, I'm not trying to break him. 869. All my characters can survive this attack. All my characters can survive that. I wasn't concerned. All right, so I got a max. All right, cool. I'm doing damage. It's not always about breaking the enemy. It's We're starting to hit the content where we need to be a little bit more strategic with what we're doing, with how we're performing. So... Again, I could have broke him right there, but why break him? He's going to flurry, so this is going to do a lot of damage bravery-wise. Luckily, I had the shield up. Um, I used the Suna to bring my team back, so I know who he's going to attack. He's going to do 2,000 damage. I, I I do Braid Buckler, so that was incorrect of me. I should have done HP damage, or I should have used a shield on Yuna. Um, just to give something that Buckler didn't do anything. I knew he was going to go after me. I should have switched in Cloud, too. That's what should have happened in the beginning. If I would have switched in Cloud, I would have had an opportunity to paralyze him and possibly keep a, a character up. So here, I kind of I, I kind of lose a little bit of focus right there. I, I do two HP attacks. At this point, I need to beat him. I need to beat him. I don't have any more deep protects. I don't, I, there's nothing to dispel. 
I'm gonna, oh, I, 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 the, the enemy's buff I could dispel. So much happened in such a significant small amount of time. Um, so, uh, that was my fight. I, I lost a warrior light because I, I, I should have done some HP damage, which could have helped me. He had like a thousand on him. Or I, specifically, I should, I should have switched to my teammate, my cloud. Um, so that's why I say wait to the last minute for your character. Um, so, um, so that video stopped abruptly because that thing came right up. But uh, here's my team, guys. Um, again, I'm gonna click on them while I kind of recap everything. So, <sighs> biggest tip for the fight is don't take the boss's bravery all the way down all the time. Uh, utilize your character's abilities at the end of the fight. Save it for the end of the fight. Um, I know it's a lot of information. I know I practically did not stop talking. I hope this helps someone or anyone out there. Um, if this format was good for you, if it assisted you in any way, shape, or form, phenomenal. If it didn't, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Um, I might be doing a vanilla character review here shortly. Um, you guys are great. I appreciate you nerds. Everyone stay swole, and I don't know how to press the...